We ended up with 52 cookies. I brought rubber mag containers because I came prepared. I knew we were going to get as many as we could. And I don't want them getting squished in our luggage. So there we go. 52 cookies. Yay! Alright, this is what I ended up buying yesterday. So first, I got some Mac stuff. Not going to show you because some stuff is presents for my nieces. A Christmas present for Holly. Sorry, not going to show you because she watches my videos. We got this popcorn bucket. Um, oh yeah, we got the Pluto Christmas popcorn buckets. These things are huge. My sister wanted one, but I just can't get... I don't even know if I'm going to be able to fit all this in my suitcase. So, um, I got her something way better, so she should love it. And then, oh, this was just the bag they had at the party. I got that to put all the cookies in. I got this popcorn bucket. Got these pens and notepads. These are actually little gifts for, um, on our private label, we have like 10 repeat customers that buy tons of stuff from us. So we're just gonna send them a couple little goodies as a thank you for it around Christmas time. And then, you know, I love Rubik's Cubes. So I got um, a Disney themed Rubik's Cube. I thought that was cool. I got these highlighters. This is for me. Um, they look like the garbage cans at Disney. Um, little note pads for me. And then this is a thing of stickers. And then I got these Haunted Mansion towels because you know our bedroom is Haunted Mansion themed. So I got that. And honestly, now that I spread everything out, it really doesn't look like $300 worth, but or $400. I think we have $400 with gift cards. So we, all we have left is $16 left on the gift card. I did actually use it for food several times. Um, I pretty much used it for everything except when we ate at what, the boathouse, right? Right. So yeah, a lot of it paid for food. We did eat a bunch last night. Not a bunch. I, there was three desserts I wanted. We only ended up with one dessert, but then we also had like a couple snacks. So anyway, this is it. So I gotta finish packing. Hopefully I can get all this into my suitcase with our normal stuff. And then remember I got a bunch of stuff at Universal. And I got two containers over there full of cookies. So I gotta figure out how to fit it all in two suitcases. Robert just pointed out the faucets look like Aladdin's lamp. That is pretty cool. So as I package, I'm going to finish my rant and try to package at the same time. Okay, so my problem with Disney um, was so when we first got here, um, we wanted, my plan was to go to the Grand Floridian and um, go to the Grand Floridian and look at the uh, Chris, the gingerbread house. So we've done this numerous times. It's been like, what, four, four years? Yeah. Probably four years since we've been here for Christmas. And so, okay, that will close. And so what happened is um, Disney started charging for parking, like I think in April. And, and then, you know, there's always security issues. And so now when you go, so you go up to the, we went up to the Grand Floridian because since we couldn't check into our room, I'm like, we'll just start at the Grand Floridian. I'll park at the Grand Floridian, look at the gingerbread house, and then we'll get back in the car and drive to the Contemporary, look at the gingerbread house. Or wait, Contemporary wasn't a gingerbread house, it was something else. And then go from there. And so we get to the guard, they have a guard check, and we get there, and he's like, he goes, you have a room reservation? And we said, well, not here, we have it at Riverside. He goes, well, I can't let you in unless you have a room reservation. Um, you know, our parking's only for people staying here. And I said, well, Robert's like, we only want to look at a gingerbread house. He's like, well, you need to go to your hotel and check into your hotel and then take the bus over back over here. It's like, oh, no, that doesn't work. If you've ever, uh, Disney's buses don't go from hotel to hotel. They only go from, they don't go from hotel to hotel. They go from hotel to, um, the parks. So you can't hop from hotel to hotel. You have to like take the bus to Magic Kingdom and take the monorail to Grand Floridian, which is what we ended up doing later that night. So, but we used to be able to drive to each hotel no problem. That was just like a really, really, really disappointing. Let's see. And then what was the, okay, and then I feel like they oversell everything. Like, we used to, like the park was just extremely proud of us, night. And then, um, what'd you call it, honey? Like a, there's like a website that tells you like crowd capacity and they rate it like through one through 10 with 10 being the most crowded. Well, it was only, they're predicting it was only like four that day. Well, their predictions are way off because it was extremely crowded last night. Um, 
we didn't want to meet any characters because we've already met them all a dozen times, but thank goodness we didn't because like all the character lines were at least a half hour long, at least. And I just remember where we could see a character in like 10 minutes. It was, what was that? Oh, it's the stuffed animal. So, I don't know. I was just disappointed. It's kind of sad when like the best, um, what is this? Oh yeah, it's the cookies. So anyway, like the best, um, Disney used to be really, I mean, we still have fun, don't get me wrong. We still absolutely have fun. But I think now it's just like, everything's about money 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 and so they oversell the um they oversell the parties and you have to pay for parking which so you can't go to any hotel you can't just park at any hotel unless you have a room reservation like we couldn't even say that we had a dining reservation he was not letting us in and i've never had that happen before so that just put a damper on things and i don't know i'm down in the nitty-gritty i gotta get off any other complaints about disney no i've got they're too numerous. Uh, I don't care. Anyway, we it's have... It's bad when a customer says, I don't care, because that yeah. means they probably aren't going to go back. Yeah, yeah, I think we just are very frustrated with Disney. We had way more fun at Universal. We had way more fun at St. Augustine. We had... This is actually Aladdin's, like, um, rug, too. Uh, we had more fun at Downtown Disney than we did at actual Magic Kingdom. So, yeah, I don't know. It was a bummer. But the first two days were amazing. And we still had fun at the party, don't get me wrong. It's just isn't how it used to be. We used to have a total blast at the parties. It's just not like that anymore. I think it was a whole lot of little, cool little things that made Disney magical. They cut out all those little things. Yes, they did. So it's not so magical, unfortunately. But they cut out a lot. I want to like it, but it just aggravates me to see we paid the amount of money we paid. Yeah. So. Yep. All right, I got to figure this out. I need two hands. So anyway, thanks for watching, and we still got to get to the airport, so I'm sure I'll post more stuff. I failed. I could not fit everything into the two suitcases, um, but I was prepared for that. I have this carry-on I always bring, um, and so that was folded up, so now this has the gifts. Um, I just, so close, but this is full. So Robert will carry that on. With South, that doesn't mean we have to pay extra for luggage. With Southwest, we each get two carry-ons. Um, I have my purse and my laptop. Usually Robert only brings his laptop, but now he can also carry this on because he does get two personal items too. And I love this because it's small enough it fits underneath the seat in front of him because I hate using the overhead space because it's always just pretty full by the time you get there. I just don't like worrying about it. So anyway, we're ready. We need to go spend the $16 we have left on the card and get to the airport. All right. I don't know if I was very like clear on the rant like so I'm just gonna and a couple other things when we were talking about going to the Grand Floridian we used to be able to go to all the hotels to look at their Christmas displays in and out in and out besides having you know they won't let you park there anymore unless you're staying at the hotel um, if you go to that hotel and get onto the monorail you have to go through security before you get onto the monorail um, and if it's contemporary, when you walk to the Magic Kingdom, there's a security checkpoint. And so each of those checkpoints takes like 20 extra minutes. Um, and then last, and usually like, uh, we got onto the bus, bus pretty quickly, um, here at Riverside, but, and we didn't know there was four stops. So when we get, cause we were the last stop, I didn't know there was four stops. So on the way back last night, um, everyone gets out, not everyone got off at the first one, and I'm looking around, and the lady's like, oh yeah, there's four stops, and I'm like, okay, I don't know what stop, because I didn't know there was four stops, and I'm like, she's like, well, I said, which is closest to check-in, and she's like, the fourth stop, so we were the fourth stop, so when we left Magic Kingdom and got back to the room, it took 55 minutes, 55 minutes to get from Magic Kingdom to our room, taking their transportation, uh, when we stayed at Universal at their hotel, when we left the park, we can walk to the hotel. It took five minutes, five minutes to get back to our room. So that was really frustrating. I remember when the buses only took like 20, 20 minutes to get like anywhere. So I don't know why it took three times as long. And I can't believe I've stayed at Riverside three times and not realized there was four bus stops. Uh, I guess we're always at the last stop and it's never an issue. So that was frustrating. And I think it just takes longer because there's just 20 billion times more people. So this time it was two buses in one. It was like that super long bus. So then you have to wait twice as long because it's twice as big to get everyone loaded. And it just was like, oh, Universal, I would have been in my hotel room by now. So that was frustrating. Um, 
I don't mean to be ranting. It's just when you do a Universal and a Disney back to back, it just made Universal seem so much nicer and so much, uh, we had a lot more fun. So uh, I guess we just are going to take another break from Disney. I guess we're just Disneyed out because we've done it too much. And when you saw like the glory days of Disney like six, seven years ago and you compare it now, um, it's just hard. Like the gingerbread house, you used to be get, go up to it, takes tons of pictures. They used to have little hidden Mickeys. And so you would take pictures of every little hidden Mickey. You'd take your time going around the entire gingerbread house. You can't do that anymore because they have photo pass lines set up. And so you, if you get, you're going to be in everyone's picture. And so they kind of like d discourage you from getting too close to the gingerbread. There's only like two spots that I could take pictures yeah. from when I used to be able to walk around the entire thing. And so I was like, what the heck? It's just completely different, even though it's the same gingerbread house. It's pretty much the same concept every year. They might change it up a little, but it's the same frame and everything. So that was weird. And we couldn't make it to the contemporary, and we couldn't make it to the Polynesian, because each of those places, we would have had to went through security after waiting on the monorail or the boat. We actually ended up taking the boat from the Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom, and that took forever too. So. That would have added like three extra hours of travel time and we would have never made it to the party. So unfortunately, we were only able to do the Grand Floridian. The point is, six years ago, we could have done, all, took in the monorail and done all three in like an hour. So, and I felt, like I said, Robert looked at the calendar. This day was only supposed to be a number four on one out of ten of busyness. And it was definitely a ten. It was definitely a ten, so... Those people are not doing very good about updating their calendar or not realizing how Disney is letting three times as many people in. Um, wall to wall crowds, couldn't get anywhere last night. We did manage to get a great spot for the parade because we waited till the 11 o'clock parade. And at that point, most people were leaving. So, still had a great time. Don't get me wrong. It's just not something that we're going to repeat. Um, like, I would do Universal's Halloween Horror Nights, like, every year now, but I'm not doing Disney's Christmas party next year. Uh, it's just too crowded for me, and it wasn't as fun, even though we ended up with 52 cookies. Um, it's just, I don't know, I'm ready to go home. See that cute rabbit right there? That's Tiana. This room is adorable. It is adorable. But what is it about no hot water? We didn't have hot water again. This is the second hotel visit where we don't have water. It's lukewarm water. It's like maybe they're afraid kids are gonna burn themselves. We could not, I could never get it hot. The other two hotels we stayed at, really nice hot water. This one, I could never get it past the lukewarm stage. So that always puts me in a bad mood if I can't have a hot shower. So anyway, let's go spend $16 and get to the airport. All right, we decided on a quick breakfast with our last, this was $13, so we have $3 left to spend. Don't know that I'm gonna really worry about it right now because there ain't much at Disney you can get for $3. <laughs> All right, we're home. Where is Ollie? Anybody? Anybody care that we're home? No cats to greet me? I'm so disappointed. Oh, there you are. Did you just wake up? Oh, you're falling over. Did you just wake up? Oh, poor Ollie. You just woke up. You sure did. Oh, I missed you. You look so skinny. What, you not eating? I know you were eating. The pet sitter said you were awesome. He just woke up. He's a little, hey, he's a little out of it. Hi. Go say hi to daddy. Hi, fuzzy boy. Come here. The other the girls. Hi. I don't know where the girls are. Oh, hi, little guy. He looks a little out of it. He is a little out of it. He's been sleeping. He had a very hard day. He had a very hard day. Yes, he did. Oh. You know, can you hear that? He's yeah. yeah it's good to be home. Let's go see if we can find the girls. Where are the girls? Let's go there. There's a monkey. Monkey, are you pouting? Are you not coming to say hi? Are you not coming to say hi? hi? Oh, I would stay in that warm bed too. Nice. Sunning herself. She is sunning herself. We know where, where so, sunny is. Uh, let's go. I'll show you where Sunny is. So the first night, the pet sitter um, was was worried because she couldn't find Sunny. We have two pet sitters, so one of them couldn't find Sunny. And I'm like, and Robert's texted her. He's like, 
You gotta look underneath the bed. Or not underneath the bed. You gotta look underneath the covers. And sure enough. Let's see. Oh, did you see that move? Did you see that move? This is Sunny's new hiding spot. So the cat, the cat sitter couldn't find her until he said, look underneath. Look underneath the covers. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Sunny. How are you doing? Oh, baby. We're home. Hi. No more pet sitters for a Hi, while. Sunny. We're home. Hi, Sunny. Love you, baby Hi. girl. All right. So now it's say, two o'clock, hey, and we gotta get packaged. What you doing? Huh? Yeah. Are you gonna? Where are we gone? She would not do that for me. She's I'm coming sorry. out for Robert. I'm sorry, baby. Did we make you mad? I know. Poor baby. No, but you're my good friend, aren't you? If you're my good friend, you wouldn't go on vacation. You'd stay with me, right? Yeah. That's my good girl. It's my good girl. All right. I love the cats later. I gotta get to work. I texted the, I texted oh, the mail lady, and she said she'll be here at five. So that gives us a couple hours. We have over a hundred orders, hey, so baby. we gotta get to work. Good to see you. So anyway, thanks for watching my vacation vlog. Um, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you later.